my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Glove Foodie. When I daydream, I imagine walking on the street in one of those cities on the French Riviera. I see a cute cafe and decide to have lunch. Of course, a song from Joe Dassin is playing in the background. Then I order a glass of rosé and something delicious and light to pair it with, like this recipe. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my version of Salade Niçoise. This is exactly what summer is all about. Fresh and healthy with layers of yumminess. This classic French salad is so incredible. Each bite is a burst of flavor in your mouth. You'll see what I mean when you try it. So my friends, let's get cooking. There are a few steps to take care of. So let's start with the eggs. A couple hours before serving the salad, we'll boil them. I like mine hard boiled, but if you prefer medium boiled, cook them accordingly. When they're done, we'll plunge them in an iced water bath and set aside. Another thing we have to look after is the vinaigrette. In a small bowl, we'll add pressed garlic, freshly squeezed lemon juice, raspberry wine vinegar, but traditionally, Red wine vinegar is used, so either one. Some Dijon mustard, Herbe de Provence, which you can get this lovely homemade blend by clicking on the top right corner of your screen, and freshly ground black pepper. Next, in a slow steady stream, we'll add the oil whisking constantly. Here are a few anchovy fillets, and we'll take one, reserving the other two for later. Then we'll chop the fillet as fine as we can. We want tiny little pieces, see, just like that, because they're going into the vinaigrette. By adding them, it will give a beautiful flavor to the dressing. Of course, we'll whisk again, then taste and adjust if necessary. I like to add a little honey to it, just to remove the tartness. We'll cover and transfer to the fridge for one and a half hours. An hour before serving, we'll prep the other ingredients. Let's start with the baby potatoes. We'll place them in a medium pot, fill it up with cold water, and add some salt to it. We'll cover Bring it to a boil and cook for 10 to 12 minutes or until just tender so they keep their shape. We want a slight resistance, that's all. Mine were perfect after 10. So we'll remove from the heat and drain the potatoes in a colander. We'll let them sit for a few minutes before cutting them in half. Now the green beans. So what we'll do is to cut them in thirds, so not only does it look nicer, but it's easier to eat. Just like that. We'll fill up a pot with water, add a little bit of sea salt, and bring it to a boil. When it gets there, we'll add our green beans and start the timer for two minutes to blanch them quickly. We'll remove from the heat Plunge the green beans in an ice water bath to stop the cooking and let them sit there for a few minutes to cool off. Now we'll look after the red onion. After slicing it, we'll place them in a bowl and pour one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice and then add about half of a third of a cup of cold water. With our clean hands, We'll toss to coat, add the rest of the water, and let the slices marinate for five minutes, then drain. What it does is it removes the sharp taste from the onion. 
It's a great kitchen tip, especially when serving them raw. Back to our two anchovy fillets. We'll cut them into quarter inch pieces. See, they're small, but not as much as earlier when making the dressing. And set them aside. All right, let's see what we've got. Some capers, anchovies, olives, either niçoise, calamata, or black, then thinly sliced cucumber, some red and yellow peppers, although it's not traditional, but hey, since when have I stuck to traditional? Our red onion slices that we did earlier, cherry tomatoes, they're good for us, our potatoes cut in half, and also our blanched green beans. The main protein, tuna. I love tuna in this salad. Then sliced hard boiled eggs and lettuce. So let's assemble this incredible salad, although there's no set rule how to. Lettuce on the plate first. Here I'm using Boston. Cucumber slices, potato halves, I know it's not a usual ingredient for a green salad, but trust me, it's good. <laughs> Cherry tomatoes straight from my garden, mmm, yum. Green beans, see by blanching them, they really turn green. Then here comes the red onion slices, followed by the bell peppers. They don't have to, but I think they add a nice color. Little chunks of tuna. It looks more appetizing than flakes, okay? Sliced hard-boiled eggs, some capers on top, olives, I'm using black because I couldn't find any sauce, and finally, little pieces of anchovies. We'll drizzle on some vinaigrette on top and serve immediately. And my friends, this is our salad Niçoise. I know there are a lot of steps, but the combination is exactly what summer is all about. Fresh and healthy with layers of yumminess. This is a salad that you must have, and I won't be surprised if it becomes your favorite for the season. I hope you give it a try soon, and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!